I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert and this YouTube channel. In this video, you'll discover the nootropic benefits of shilajit. In this video, I'll tell you what shilajit is, where it comes from, and why experienced neurohackers use it. I'll share with you some clinical studies demonstrating the nootropic benefits of shilajit. I'll tell you how much to use, any potential side effects, including any drug contraindications, and the best types of shilajit to buy. So what makes this video different from other videos you may have already seen on shilajit? Well, this video explains the nootropic benefits of shilajit for brain health and optimization, and why you may want to add it to your nootropic stack. You can use shilajit for more than just increasing testosterone and sex drive. Sound good? Now, before we get started, please hit the subscribe button for my channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps YouTube know to suggest this channel to someone else who may need this information too. And hit the share button so others can learn about shilajit and how it may help them deal with their own brain health issues. And one more thing before we get deeper into the nootropic benefits of shilajit. If you are frustrated and feeling overwhelmed trying to figure out which nootropic supplements you should be using for your brain health issues that you're dealing with, consider getting professional help. Spend an hour with me and I'll help get you on track. To schedule a consultation with me, look for the link to my calendar down below in the notes section below this video, or click on the link above if it's there. And let's start working together. So stay with me for a few minutes and I'll tell you more about Shilajit. Let's get started. Shilajit is a blackish brown powder or tar-like substance secreted by and found primarily in rocks of the Himalayas and Nepal. It forms over centuries from the decomposition of plant material and is rich in minerals, fulvic acid, and a host of other bioactive compounds. Shilajit can also be found in Russia, Tibet, Afghanistan, and in northern Chile, where it's called Andean Shilajit. Shilajit has been used in Ayurvedic, Siddha, and Yunani medicine for over 3,000 years as a rejuvenator and an adaptogen. Traditionally, shilajit is consumed by people from Nepal in northern India, and children usually take it with milk in their breakfast. The Sherpas include shilajit as part of their diet, a population known for their extraordinary health and longevity. Shilajit contains over 85 minerals in their ionic form, humic substances, and fulvic acid, which play a critical role in nutrient absorption way down there at the cellular level. Fulvic acid, in particular, enhances the permeability of cell membranes, which boosts the transport of nutrients into your brain and takes the toxins out of the cell. Shilajit is an antioxidant, anti-diabetic, anxiolytic or anti-anxiety, anti-inflammatory, anti-allergy, analgesic, and antifungal. Next, I'll tell you more about how Shilajit works in your brain, so please stay tuned. Shilajit boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, shilajit is used for anxiety and stress. Simply living in our modern society can produce crazy high levels of stress and anxiety, which can significantly impact cognitive function. Shilajit has been shown to possess anxiolytic properties helping to alleviate stress and promote mental well-being. An animal study published in the Indian Journal of Pharmacology demonstrated that shilajit can increase dopamine and modulate serotonin levels, which are critical for mood regulation. And the second way that shilajit works in your brain is it's used for fighting chronic fatigue syndrome. Chronic fatigue syndrome is a complicated disorder that manifests as extreme fatigue that does not improve with rest. It can severely impact cognitive function, resulting in brain fog and poor memory. Shilajit has shown promise in managing chronic fatigue symptoms. One study found that supplementing with shilajit could improve mitochondrial function, which enhances energy production at the cellular level. It does it by restoring CoQ10 levels. The study found that supplementing with CoQ10 and Shilajit boosted mitochondrial energy production, 
Better than using either supplement alone. Improved mitochondrial function translates to more energy and less brain fog, contributing to better cognitive performance. Next, I'll tell you even more about the nootropic benefits of using shilajit, so please stay tuned. Practitioners of Ayurvedic medicine typically recommended shilajit to their patients to boost energy and re revitalize the body. It turns out that most user reviews also report an energy boost when using shilajit. Shilajit may also have the potential for avoiding Alzheimer's disease because the fulvic acid in this nootropic helps prevent tau tangles and diminishes the length of fibrils already formed. Men benefit from using shilajit because it boosts total and free testosterone. DHEA, and sperm count. The combination of CoQ10 and Shilajit helps boost energy levels by increasing the production of adenosine triphosphate in mitochondria. Shilajit may help prevent ovarian cancer after radiation therapy by blocking apoptotic or cancer growth pathways. And Shilajit is a potent neuroprotectant by protecting brain cells from oxidative stress and brain cell damage. So next, we're going to talk about how Shilajit feels when you take it as a supplement. So don't go anywhere. I'll be back in four seconds. Many Shilajit users report an immediate increase in energy. Some say this nootropic makes them feel 20 years younger. Consistent Shilajit use has been said to boost performance throughout the day. One neurohacker calls Shilajit her Zen garden in a jar. One dollop and I'm ready to conquer the day with the calm focus of a meditation guru." Unquote. Another reported that it's like a wellness shot for your soul. Several Shilajit users said that they no longer suffered with their usual brain fog. When used sublingually, its effects are noticed within 10 minutes, with more stamina and mental clarity than they've had in months. One user reported, my wife and I are using it to gain muscle mass and increase physical performance after the age of 45. So the overall consensus is one dose of Shilajit results in a profound shift in energy levels. Instead of dragging yourself out of bed, you wake up with a sense of anticipation and eagerness to embrace the day ahead. Shilajit is like having sunrise in a jar. Now you feel like working out and have more energy, lost weight, and your sex drive is insane. In this next section of this video, I'll share some of the clinical studies on using Shilajit for boosting testosterone for opiate and alcohol withdrawal, and for treating mountain sickness. So please stay tuned. Testosterone plays a critical role in brain function and cognition. Testosterone receptors in your hippocampus and prefrontal cortex are involved in higher cognitive function. But your sex hormones can decline for various reasons, including age. Shilajit has been shown to help restore testosterone levels. A clinical trial was conducted at B. Roy State Ayurvedic Medical College and Hospital in India from 2012 to 2014. The researchers selected 96 volunteers with a mean age of 49 years and divided them into two equal groups. Group 1 received 250 milligrams of purified shilajit twice per day for 90 days, and Group 2 got a placebo. Supplementing with shilajit twice per day significantly increased total testosterone, free testosterone, DHEA, and maintained healthy levels of luteinizing hormone and follicle-stimulating hormone. Anyone addicted to opiates or alcohol knows how hard it is to quit. There is no approved treatment for opiate tolerance and dependence, and 12-step groups are the only real proven method for getting off of alcohol and drugs. Withdrawal from these drugs is extremely difficult, and at times it can be deadly. So any natural alternative is a godsend for anyone who wants or needs to get off of opiates. And it turns out that traditional Chinese medicine has been using shilajit for opiate withdrawal successfully for over 200 years. A study in 2001 found that shilajit was found to inhibit tolerance to the analgesic effects of morphine. Another animal study conducted at the Birya Institute of Technology in India found that shilajit altered corticohippocampal dopamine, which helps reduce alcohol dependence and withdrawal. The study found that it worked even better when combined with ashwagandha. I've got a video, another video for ashwagandha on this channel. Working and recreation at high altitudes can often result in acute mountain sickness. 
The symptoms of acute mountain sickness can include gastrointestinal distress, constipation, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, headache, anorexia, breathlessness, dry nose, tiredness, giddiness, palpitation, cough, lethargy, dizziness, fatigue, disturbed sleep, and a disinclination to work. Phew. Shilajit has been shown to help reduce the symptoms of gastro distress, headache, weakness, anorexia, dehydration, heart problems, insomnia, cough, and pain. Shilajit is anti-anxiety, anti-stress, anti-epileptic, insomnia, and it works as an ad adaptogen. High altitudes can cause oxygen deficiency. Shilajit can help remove excess fluid from your lungs. High solar radiation, including UV radiation, is a problem at high altitudes. Shilajit has been shown to help in the treatment of skin and eye disorders caused by solar radiation because of Shilajit's photoprotective action. So if you plan on hiking in the mountains or climbing Mount Everest, then plan on taking some Shilajit with you. It may save your life. Next, I'll tell you how much Shilajit you should use, so please stay here. I'll be right back. Recommended shilajit dosage is 250 milligrams twice per day. Shilajit is water soluble. You can use shilajit in capsules or tablets or dissolve shilajit paste in a glass of water. Shilajit has a bitter taste and some say that it has the smell resembles stale cow urine. Next I'm going to talk about shilajit side effects. So I'm going to be back in four seconds. Shilajit is considered non-toxic, so is considered well-tolerated and safe. Side effects are rare, but can include increasing iron levels, so if you're dealing with uh, hemochromatosis, don't, then don't use shilajit. Shilajit can increase testosterone levels, so should not be used by pregnant or breastfeeding women or children. Several studies have shown that shilajit that is sold without purification can contain heavy metals, pro-oxidant agents, and is a mitotoxin. Several Ayurvedic shilajit products sold online showed the presence of lead, mercury, arsenic, and other minerals, including gems, including lead poisoning. In 2005, the Government of Canada issued a warning and advised it against Ayurvedic Indian source shilajit because it was found to contain dangerously high levels of heavy metals, including lead, mercury, and arsenic particularly shilajit produced by Dabur India Limited, New Delhi, India. Next, I'll tell you which shilajit supplement you should buy. We're almost done, so please don't go anywhere. Shilajit is sold in tablet, capsule, resin, and powder form. Tablets and capsules are usually 250 milligrams each. You will find several Shilajit products online, but beware of the warnings by health authorities, including the Canadian government, about buying unpurified Shilajit, which is often loaded with heavy metals. Your safest Shilajit option is a product called Primav, which is manufactured by Natrion Inc., based in New Jersey in 2022. Natrion was acquired by the Carey Group, which is also based in New Jersey, in the, here in the USA. So I recommend Nootropics Depot has got Primave in purified shilajit capsules and Nootropics Depot Primave purified shilajit powder. You'll find links to these shilajit supplements down below in the notes section below this video. So that's my updated report on shilajit. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to my website Nootropics Expert and search for shilajit or click on the link below in the notes section below this video. Once you're at my website, Nootropics Expert, you will find a full transcript for this video, and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on my website, Nootropics Expert. If you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. And please get a copy of my four-time award-winning book, Head First, the second edition, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements. I've got links to both books down below in the notes section below this video. I also do personal consultations, so if you need some help with your nootropic stack, you'll find a link to my calendar below in the video notes section down below. And if you'd like to learn more about nootropic adaptogens, please see my video on the top seven nootropic adaptogens to conquer anxiety and stress. So thank you for watching. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.